for the best medical and paramedical lectures subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to stay connected with us hello everyone myself swati kaushal today we will discuss about the pancreas with its anatomy so let's begin so friends this is an anatomy of the pancreas which contain five parts unicinate head neck body and tail unicinate means hooked shape so friend this yellow part is known as pancreas so we will discuss the definition of the pancreas the pancreas is a gland that is partially exocrine and partially endocrine the exocrine part secretes the digestive pancreatic juice and the endocrine part secretes hormones example insulin it is soft lobulated and elongated organ this is a definition of a pancreas now we will discuss the exocrine pancreas this consists of a large number of lobules made up of small acini the walls of which consist of secretory cells each lobule is drained by a tiny duct and these unite eventually to form the pancreatic duct which extends the whole length of the gland and opens into the duodenum the function of exocrine pancreas is to produce pancreatic juice containing enzymes that digests carbohydrates proteins and fats so friend this is all about the pancreas uh, exocrine pancreas now we will discuss the endocrine pancreas distributed throughout the gland are group of uh, specialized cells called the pancreatic islets it's also known as islets of langerhans the islets have no ducts so the hormones diffuse directly into the blood the endocrine pancreas secretes the hormones insulin and glucagon which are principally concerned with control of blood glucose level so friend this is second part of pancreas or we can say second partially part of a pancreas that is endocrine pancreas now we will discuss the location of the pancreas the pancreas lies more or less transversely across the posterior abdominal wall at the level of first and second lumbar vertebra so friend this is the location of a pancreas so next we will discuss the size and shape of the pancreas it is g shaped or retort shaped set obliquely the ball of the retort represent its head and the stem of the retort its neck body and tail it is about 50 to 20 cm long 2.5 to 3.8 cm broad and 1.2 to 1.8 cm thick and weighs about 90 g so friend this is the size and the shape of the pancreas so next we will discuss the division of the pancreas the pancreas is divided from left to right into the head the neck the body and tail the head is enlarged and lies within the concavity of the duodenum the tail reaches the hilum of the spleen the entire organ lies posterior to the stomach separated from it by the lesser sac so friends this is a division of the pancreas now we will discuss the ducts of the pancreas the exocrine pancreas is drained by two ducts first the main pancreatic duct which is also known as the duct of virsung second one is the accessory pancreatic duct which is also known as duct of centorini so friends this is a ducts of the pancreas thanks for watching keep share like comment and subscribe our youtube channel hope it's help do like leave a comment and share with your friends